Two big stories this week. It's pedos again, unfortunately. It's not pedos. It's, 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 not, it's global warming. Joe, I'd love a bit of global warming. Yeah. Sun come early. Brilliant. Sorry, oh, that's, that's about the that's pedos. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Can we start with YouTubers this week? I don't want to start with the bad bits. JJ and Logan back at it again. Twitter beef. I, I do want to watch this. I don't know what the fuck that is, but let's watch. Shit quality, yeah, but listen. My opinion on the uh, Jake Paul and KSI fight. The opinion we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Logan Paul deserves the rematch. He drew with the champion of YouTube. In my opinion, Logan's going to fucking knock out KSI straight up. The first... <laughs> Just something happened outside there. <laughs> you know, when, uh, like a dog's with you or a cat's with you, and they're just like. <laughs> Logan first, then Jake. Simple as fuck. Uh, to be fair, I kind of agree with him on the Logan, then Jake. I, I agree with the opinion. It's just that I already held the opinion. It's not an opinion which differs to common opinion. He's basically saying what everyone else is thinking. Mm. Who's which, the biggest bitch on YouTube? I would say KSI. <sighs> Why would you say that? He's just like. To me, he's literal, like, literal trash. Literal trash. He's not literal trash. Yeah, he's, he's literally not trash. See that guy there on yeah, the right? Yeah. Total side note, but wrote a show, said that the Logan Paul podcast guys were weirdos. He responded to Harry and was like, what, bitch? Let's do a fight. I've met him before. He seems like a yeah. nice guy. Don't fight Harry. He's probably the strongest of all the lads in the sidemen, Harry. Like, if he actually trained... Untrained, yeah, he's if, the strongest. He's, yeah, yeah, he's got some way. genetics on him, this guy. Yeah, yeah. So I think that wouldn't work out too well for him. Absolutely. Uh, so... Stop challenging Harry. Believe me. Just pick any of them other than Harry, basically, and yeah. JJ. You'd be um, honest. Like Zerka's getting a bit fit lately as well. Yeah. We'd probably leave him alone. Hashtag muscle march. <laughs> so then Logan and JJ start going at it yeah. on Twitter. Twitter. So Logan starts, I bet money KSI is going to try and skirt the rematch. Not money. Um, bet something else. He just lost uh, like 20 grand on the UFC fight, so you probably should stop betting. JJ says, you had your chance, you blew it. Besides, your brother is popping way more than you you ain't got the juice no more i'm the champ he deserves a shot i need to avenge my bro is deji still alive deji's yeah he's alive yeah jj basically says that jake's about to pass logan and subs how awkward which is true chloe dumped you and tfue i don't know who that guy is but he's a youtuber stole your next girl logan responds this was a harsh one your family abandoned you on christmas you're a dickhead so it isn't going well logan then does a video on instagram Did he? yes i see you dog don't skirt the rematch. I already. I feel like you're gonna try to. Don't do it, unless you're scared. Should we look at the views? Because JJ is accusing Logan's views of going down. Because the whole point in Logan versus JJ was because of where they were in the pecking order on YouTube. Subscribers: eighteen point eight million. Well, yeah, he's still doing two million, two million, two million, one point five two. Jake Paul, who is that? Eighteen point one million. So wow. yeah. he's gaining on him. Logan does have a podcast. Check, check go to Logan's podcast. Look at that list of guests. He, yeah, I mean, he's got a guest book. Uh, must be, wow. Must, no, must be good. Yeah, I mean, he's really put money that he's earned back into the channel, not just into his own pocket for his own game. That is incredible what he's done there. He calls it the number one podcast in the world. When we do a podcast, top draw. Top draw. Unbeatable. Yeah, he puts out a lot of podcasts. Sure. Quality, not quantity. That's all I'm saying. Right. When I do a pod, it's it's special. When, sure. he, when they do a pod, ah, it's, it's lightweight. Deep conversations. Yeah. I'm a deep sea diver. Mm -hmm. I've never mentioned that much. I go in deep with these people. How many of your guests cry? Just as a percentage. <laughs> just break it down, all right? How many as a percentage cry? In terms of quality of podcasts. Right. I know where I am. Yeah. In numbers. Sort of number eight, nine. Joe Rogan's probably doubling Logan Paul's numbers. Trip. At least. At least. At least double. At least. Have you seen Alex Jones? What do you want to see? Because I want to see Logan Kiss. I want to see the rematch. I think I would like to see the rematch because it was such a good fight the first time they exactly. delivered. They, they put on a great fight. And also, they'll have both had extra training. Who can be better by the time the rematch comes on? Because normally, when a rematch ends like that, the second one always ends differently. I would like to see JJ versus Logan and then JJ versus Jake. If he wanted to do that I think it would be Fucking entertaining Is all I'm saying But I want to see The rematch first I want to know Who's the best Jake said on the podcast That he thought If he'd fought JJ he The night have, Logan did absolutely. He would have beaten JJ No, nah. no, no I'm no, just no. going to say that um, As a boxing expert 
No. <laughs> you struggled to get rid of Deji, and, and Deji wasn't the, the boxer JJ was. He wasn't the size JJ was. He hasn't got the power. I'm not saying that Jake can never be good enough to compete with JJ or beat JJ. Because if you put training in, anything's possible. But that night, not in my opinion. No. I'm interested to see it happen. If it happens, I'm interested. What other stuff is happening on YouTube? Unfortunately, is Momo it's dead back yet? to the fucking pedo shit, isn't it? I am surprised that you agreed to do it. Why are you sitting down with us today? I'm very tired of all of the... Uh, Lies, you know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh my God. Um, I'm innocent. That's one of the biggest lies I've ever heard. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I just want to be clear. I'm sick of people yeah. defending me. I'm sick of people I defending me. I just wish they would all Listen. tell everyone, I'm as guilty as saying, I'm, motherfucker. I'm sick of people defending me because I was on the, the Space Jam soundtrack. Just because I was a soundtrack to your childhood doesn't mean I'm a good man. Just right? because I sing, I believe I can fly, don't mean yeah. I want to fly in your daughter's <laughs> exactly. underwear. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. I always say, you're too far. Why yeah, I know. Do that? Have you done anything that you regret? Have you done anything wrong? Lots of things wrong when it comes to women that I apologize, but I apologize in those relationships at the time I was in the relationships. Have okay? you broken any laws when it comes to women? Absolutely not. <laughs> Whisper it. <laughs> I have to whisper it because it's a lie. I'm, I'm worried so God <laughs> might hear me. He sent me to hell if he hears this shit. You broken any laws? Absolutely not. Absolutely. If you really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have, I have. everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. They was describing Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. No, they were describing R. Kelly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when I heard that documentary, they went, R. Kelly used yeah. to abuse me. <laughs> it was the devil. You're saying everything they said in that documentary about you is not true. They are lying on me. <laughs> That's what a five-year-old says in class. They are teacher. lying on me. They're lying on me. Well, you find out in the documentary that he did struggle with, like, English. That's why his lyrics are so simple. Remix to Ignition. Mm. Hat and fresh, fresh out the, the kitchen. kitchen. Wow. Any girl that I had a relationship in the past that I, it just didn't work out, she can come and say the same exact thing. Are you blaming this on social media? I'm talking about the power of social media. If one or two women come forward and try and get a fucking, you know, you're fucking David Beckham and you're like, yeah, fuck it, I'll, I'll write a book about this, then then maybe they're just trying to make money out of him. There's too much on this guy. He's, talk, he's talking shit. Yeah. This is interesting because this, when sometimes when people say no, but they nod their head. What women, so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be scorned and, and lie on me. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. And then <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Have you ever slept with anyone underage? No. no. Are they lying absolutely. on you? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. This really reminds me of a child who's yeah. being caught and it's a very big theatrical not taking account of what you've done deny 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 scream and cry until you get what you want now you've got to remember this man has been a very successful famous guy from very early on when you don't have to grow up and you're not forced to grow up in the real world and, and play the adult rules and you can just be a fucking arsehole and get away with it you continue those old behaviour patterns and this is to me like an 8 year old stomping and screaming really what you're saying is my, the, my work and my fame afford me to be mm. able to do this and he's uh, he's banking on us going oh my god she handled this very well yeah I thought she was very good she's very like a, good interview. like a mum with a toddler she holding her place like that shows him to be even more childish yeah you telling me man this is not about music I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids and I can't do it that was the one moment that spoke to me a little bit as, a, as a, a man. Sometimes even monsters can make you feel a bit sorry for them sometimes. And when he brought his kids up, I thought, well, the fact that you're thinking of your kids and not just yourself, at least there's... And I know we're not allowed to say anything good about R. Kelly, but I, to me, it was, it was one of the only things that I thought he said that actually had some heart in there. True. To make the counterpoint to that, of course, someone who's done something so terrible would pick on the thing that makes people emotional. Yeah, maybe he's mm. smarter than I'm given credit for in bringing that up. Yeah. When you're R. Kelly, why would you have to hold girls uh, against their will and all of that shit? It's, you know, you don't have to do all that. Why do that? For me, it's the underage stuff that I find a real yeah. problem. It's, it's, the, it's less the treatment of the people. It's more the predatory behavior around it. From the documentary, he was like that from a very early age. It was always in him. And even his brother in prison was like, yeah. Like, yeah. No surprise. Yeah. And the big problem, the way this is covered, is there are generally two camps. R. Kelly's innocent 
or we're damning R. Kelly. What we haven't really gotten into, and I'd imagine what's happening behind the scenes is a lot of people going, how can we stop this happening again? How do we work out what happened in R. Kelly's mind that got him to this point? What we're seeing with R. Kelly and then Michael Jackson is upbringings are so important. And when someone's had a terrible upbringing and then gets a lot of money and fame, it's like vodka and cocaine. Absolutely. Like power do, corrupts yeah, absolutely. It, it's yeah. a nightmare. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're going to let the camera keep going. This is not true. This is not, it doesn't even make sense. Rather than explaining his innocence, he just says it doesn't make sense. Exactly. Once again, very childish, very young in the mind, this guy. He just thought he could do what he wants and get away with it. I think as well, he's having trouble reconciling the person that he is because he never saw himself that way. And we all like to paint ourselves in the best light. And we, we're seeing this version of him, but we've also seen the version of him that's in a nightclub drunk off a of power, drunk an actual drink, and, and, and grinding on fucking girls. And we've yeah. seen the guy he is, do you know what I mean? Moving on to Michael Jackson. We've both watched a bit of the Neverland documentary. I've watched it all. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a podcast on it, because mm -hmm. it, it's like something to really chew into. While we're talking about Michael, there's a 10 undeniable facts about Michael Jackson's sexual abuse allegations. Not all this stuff was in uh, the documentary in such a succinct way. Uh, there was no dispute that at age 34, Michael Jackson slept more than 30 nights in a row in the same bed as the kid. That is in the documentary, but it's when you see it in black and white there that you think, yeah. wow, that's unusual. Mm. Uh, so far, five boys Michael Jackson uh, shared beds with said they that they were abused by him. There's other kids who you see him holding hands with who haven't come forward, but you think it, it could happen. Michael Jackson suffered from a skin discoloration disease. Uh, I think it's called Vitiligo. Yeah, I've seen it. Jordi Chandler drew a picture of the markings on the underside of Jackson's penis. His drawings were sealed in an envelope. Months later, investigations photographed Jackson's genitalia. The photographs matched. If a kid cannot guess this <sighs> stuff, why I start getting frustrated is because of how much his fans defend him. And we can cover this more in the podcast, but like, how the fuck are you going to justify that in your fucking head? Usually when I ask someone, do you believe Michael Jackson is innocent or guilty? When they say he's innocent or they say they don't know, it's because they haven't watched any of this sort of stuff. Which I'm like, oh, yeah, fair enough. You haven't watched it. If you watch it and then don't believe, then I'm just like, why don't you how? fucking believe? Yeah. Quite honestly, I'm sick of covering this sort of shit every week on mm -hmm. True News. Like, this is supposed to be where we have a laugh and it's fucking morbid. It's but this is a little clip we've seen on Twitter. I just thought it was interesting. Okay, if you love me, you sleep on a bed. I was like, oh man. And so I finally slept on a bed. What? But Michael, you know, you're a 44 year old man now. What, what do you get out of this? What do you get out of this? Uh, what the, the most loving thing to do is to share your bed with someone. You, know? really, you really think that? Yeah. After we've watched a documentary, that just seems even more fucking weird. But um, also how on the money Bashir was and everyone was going, you're trying to rail, rail, take his name through the mud, you motherfucker. Yeah, you, that guy, you remember how, what it was like back then? That in the guy day. was outcast yeah. by so many people because they went, you've tried, it's a hit piece on Michael Jackson, yeah. all this bullshit. Do we give Bashir a, a series of uh, <laughs> give documentaries? Him a knighthood. Give him a knighthood? I don't know. He was challenging someone who was eminently powerful. <sighs> It's a bit depressing. Yeah. I think we need a moment to make, make light of this. Do we? Yeah, let's okay. go. I'd like to address this horrible HBO documentary about me. It's filled with lies and ignorance. I would never hurt children. I love He's children. He's good, isn't he? Course, that's all. Just a grown man. Sleep on that little boy. Of course I fuck them kids. Oh, oh my God. It's so obvious. <laughs> I was a good pedophile too, huh? I built a whole amusement park and candy store. And I yeah. said, you kids like candy? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, we like candy. Like, yeah, you like candy? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, tell your mommy get the fuck out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> Not little girls. Not little ugly boys. No. You cute little motherfucking tight ass. Mm -hmm. Oh Boy. my God. <laughs> Bye. Wow, so that is creepy, some isn't it? Dark shit, but it, it's so true. Rogan posted it, and I was like, "Fuck me, that is kind wow." Of funny. Right. But a couple of months ago, uh, Mia Khalifa nearly oh. appeared on the True Jordy podcast. I was then notified by management. We weren't allowed to ask about a porn career. Clearly, is ashamed of it. I then rightly decided, "Well, fuck that." Then these guys didn't get the memo. Now it's not every day you get to have someone on who is an avid sports fan who was also at one point in time the number one ranked adult film star on Pornhub. So she's supporting her team, the Washington Capitals, against our team, the Tampa Bay Lightning. And then out of nowhere, well, I guess out of somewhere, one of those damn pucks makes a beeline for Mia Khalifa's boob 
and then it ruptures her implant. Do I have that right so far, Mia? Um, first of all, I was in the adult industry for three months, so you need to fucking fact check before you ask me to call into your shitty radio station. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> can I just say? So she, she definitely doesn't want to be called porn star. I think we can confirm that now. Absolutely, yeah. Well done. I was in the adult industry for... Actually, an extended period of time, can, can three I, months. Can I just say, an enormous amount of dick was consumed in that three months. I mean, sometimes, two at one time. Right, okay. Just insane. Little reality check for me at Khalifa. Right. You took a lot of dick on camera. Right. You wouldn't be where you are today without doing that. That's what all the men watched in order to give a fuck about you. You trying to sweep another carpet. Like, I never took a lot of dick. You did. We watched it. Sometimes two and one go. Really? Did you watch it? Yes. Right. You weren't even a good porn star. She was the uh, one who did the hijab thing. Yeah, she wore right, okay. the religious clothing yeah. in order to fucking set herself apart. So that That'll is, do it. Yeah. But she's wanting to be respected as a pundit. I mean, am I actually hearing this right? Yeah. I'm not even respected as a pundit. No. And you've not consumed nearly as much dick. <laughs> Definitely not. No. You've consumed a lot of her consuming a lot of penis, but you've never put a penis I, in your I, mouth. I, what, what, Say it now. I've never... <laughs> Stop trying to fucking cover it up. There are thousands of videos of you doing it on the internet. I don't care what bubble you want to live in, but it's bullshit. My name is Tracy Kiss, and you may have seen before that I did a video called the Semen Facial Tutorial. The idea behind that was to use natural, organic, clean, and healthy ingredients in order to promote beauty. Yeah. Are you listening, women? When she says organic, if your boyfriend's going out on the weekend, eating a kebab, coming home, that is not a grass-fed cat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Part of the semen facial then led me on to looking into the benefits of digesting semen. Fuck off. Take your shitty <laughs> snake oil and fuck off. <laughs> Imagine you're in the gym, right? You've got your personal trainer with you. It's your first session. You've just paid, what, 50 to 60 pounds? I love it though. You, you feel the burn. You, you feel you, the you burn and you're going, Ugh. and she's going, eight, <laughs> come on, nine, <laughs> 10. <laughs> now let's just take a second. Here. Let's discuss your diet. What sort of things are you no, putting no, in no, your body every yeah, week? You've just finished, lads. It's time yeah. for a protein shake. Yeah, sure. So, shake that shake, up. Uh, shake wait, that wait, up. Wait, get What's that it? No, no, you go, what's, it, what's in it? What's don't, in this? Don't worry about what's in it. tastes a bit funny. Don't worry about what's, what's in this. My husband helped make it this morning. Oh, you run a family business. Well, not kind quite, of. but I it's... suppose. So the kids hold the beaker and daddy just, you know, deposits oh, into it. <laughs> can we not bring kids into it for? So one teaspoon of semen contains over 200 proteins, several helpful vitamins, minerals, including vitamin C, calcium, chloride, citric acid, fructose, lactic acid, magnesium, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, vitamin B12, and zinc. Do you hear that, ladies? Fantastic. The benefits are there. We're just giving you the information. If you and your boyfriend or significant other want to make the most of that... Head to truegeordiesemen.com where you can buy your flask of genuine True Geordie semen. <laughs> Do you want to swallow gallons and gallons of this man's cum? Well, now's your time. I can't watch it. Oh. So this was a, a clip from a little amateur wrestling match where you yeah. see um, the little poor lad who's dumped left leg trapped underneath his body, probably bad knee ligament damage, skull smashed into the ground. What are parents doing with their kids generally? That's that's my annoyance from this. I'd almost like, rather they played for Yeah, them. that's not the way to encourage kids to like sports. Uh, if you're a parent and your kid can destroy people like that, then maybe get him where competition is available. What the fuck is this? This is Brexit ball. Sorry, this is some sort of local town thing. So I think the goal of this is to get the ball somewhere in the town, sort of one half of the town versus the other half of the town. That's It's very Simpsons. Just just watch, right? These guys are diving in for the middle to get the ball. These are hard men. Oh, I mean, they're game as fuck, no Look doubt. At him. No Look at doubt. Him. Look at him. Punching, like real, real hits on each other. This is a riot with a ball in the middle. Yeah. This is just a riot. I believe the ball made its way inside this house and then they were trying to get it back out and the men were like defending the door. So they're trying to get themselves up and over. You can't Look, see that. You can't even fight properly at that point though. When you're standing on people, you can't fight. No. Can you see how many how many pubs are boarded up here? Yeah. How many? I mean, even the bank in this town's boarded up. Literally. <laughs> is this ball f filled with money? It's filled, Brian, with semen. There's too many people. So you need to nominate like your best twenty. Yeah. 
You know yeah. what I mean? At the moment, you've nominated the town. Yeah, knife crime is not new. Yeah, I grew up in the 80s and there was knife crime back then between blacks and whites and now it's definitely between young black men in small, tiny communities and it's affecting everyone. We all look stupid. You look even more stupid. If you've got a knife or you know someone that's got a knife, tell them to stab themselves. When I was watching this clip for the first time, I was like, where are you going with this? But then he makes a really good point. Mm. Right now, trust me, because you're just going to stab your future if you go and stab someone else. Metaphor. Good. Don't. That's smart. Don't actually stab yourself anyone out <laughs> Yeah, there, there are loads of people turning to their friends with knives and going, it just helps saying, stab yourself. There you go then. Oh, I should have watched the whole video. It's halfway in a minute. Yeah, then, oh, he's going, oh, oh, it was a metaphor, it was a metaphor, it was a pull metaphor. It, pull it out, pull it out. <laughs> There's young people that look up to us, man. We need to just vocalise this, send a message out saying, put the knives down, it's done. All right, it's done. We don't need to be killing ourselves. We have so much more we can offer. And you're going to kill your future. You're going to kill someone else's future. And it's done. He just helped us probably one of the coolest people. Um, so, and that's why he got to drive the Formula E car and you didn't. Uh, yeah, we went to a Formula E event and Idris Elba was there. It's very rare I'm ever in a room and look at a man and think, you're handsome. Yeah. That was one of the few times. Yeah. He was in the same room as us. And I, I thought myself, I could really want to ask him for a podcast. Yeah. And then I just thought, because he was with his family, I didn't want to be that guy. Getting to the point. Sorry. Finally. Yeah. Knife crime, bad. So if you are a young lad out there, because uh, it is mainly young men, let's be honest, thinking about doing anything with a knife, fucking don't. Yeah. All right? And don't stab yourself. No, because it, it, he's right. It does fuck your whole future up, and it hurts everyone around you, everyone around the victim's family. It's a stupid, dumb, selfish thing to do. I believe in reincarnation, so, you know. We'll figure it out. You think uh, you think you've already been reincarnated? You think this is how many lifetimes do you think you've been reincarnated already? Oh, I think I'm still a novice, probably three. I could have been a woman, maybe native woman, you know, or something. Nothing too dark, you know. But I think maybe Laotian or Polynesian, maybe I could see. Because sometimes I smile and I feel like there's like the hands of like a. This is gonna seem crazy, but. Mm -hmm. The hands of like an Asian person kind of holding the ends of my smile up from the inside of me. So he had, crazy, bro. Uh, this, is, this might surprise you, Right. he had a huge drug problem at one oh, point. Right. I'm, I'm not saying that that's why he talks like this, but... <laughs> Definitely not. The guy is funny, but he's also mad. Yeah. Uh, do you ever feel like you could have been something in a past life? I've been told I've been reincarnated by a couple of people. Really? Yeah. If we are in a cyclical thing with life where we come back and we come back as different people, maybe different creatures, animals, whatever, I like to think that the people that you're with in each iteration, you're also with, but in different roles the next time right. around. My dad had a friend, by the way, who said that they were brother and sister in a previous life. Dad's a very sarcastic man. It, it did not go down well with her. What did he say? Basically along the lines of, I'd hate to be related to you. Oh, okay. What would you like to be reincarnated as? Was if we well, could have like a person or an animal or whatever. Just anything. Don't say Joe Rogan. Definitely not. Yeah. Um, no offense to Joe, he's got a cool life, but I've done the podcast thing now. Yeah, I, I sure. want to do something else next time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Woman? No. Right. Women have it hard. Just, I think being rich from the get-go, having to work right. up to being rich takes a lot of time. I'd rather just experience it from like 18. Of all the spiritual things you could have chosen, you chose being rich from the get-go. Like all these spoiled little cunt rich kids. Right. I wish I could be one of them. Right. Just, it must be great. Fuck what? me, no work. That's That would be your life phrase, really. Fuck me, no work. Charcoal toothpaste. We need to watch that. Yeah. We need to fucking watch yeah. that. Yeah. Super clean gel? I sort of want to know what that is. Mm. LED shower head. Oh, Boot organizer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this man's video technique is literally he goes, chair. <laughs> review the chair. All right, folks. Um, gonna review some mini cheddars. Stilton is one of the best cheeses out there. Right. Absolutely tremendous. I'm just gonna say it. The guy shaved his head but left sideburns. Oh god. I okay. love that. I'll check I love that. that. I love that. that. Different prices in different shops. Dog. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't gone. I'm reviewing my dog. I would love to see a dog reviewer channel, like where the dog just all the reviews. If it's a buy, right. pour up. If yeah. it's not a buy, pour, pour down. down. I'm giving you a channel there. Someone yeah. out there, make it. You can always enjoy cheddars. There's there's nothing wrong, nothing offensive or anything about a cheddar. <laughs> Nothing offensive about cheddars. Does cheddar. my cheddars offend you? But I'm glad they've started bringing out different flavours because the original was just getting a little bit boring. I love it. Everything the he amount says. of nuggets he gives us is unreal. The funny thing is, though, nothing <coughs> he said so far have I disagreed with. No, no, he's on point. It's always a good time for he's, cheddars. No, he's nailed. Correct. Once again, he's got all the energy values and the fats and the saturated carbohydrates and all that crap on the back. 
I really don't care about that. <laughs> it's a snack. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Smell really nice. Taste, and you can hint, get a hint of chilli coming yeah. through. So, Just yeah. surprisingly. <laughs> uh, if anybody's seen my last video with the doodle, he, um, he about to have my fingers off. So what I've done, I'm being careful. Gently. Wow. wow. We need to go to the previous one where the dog yes. bit him on the fingers. Yes. Him talking this, to might the dog. Be it. this might be where he hurts his hand. This is the uh, family Labradoodle. Here we go, gently. <laughs> there's a way of training your dog not to do that though that's the thing oh yeah absolutely and it's not by saying a human word gently before gently. hoping that the dog has full context he, of the English language he thought you said tetlis. Tetlis. He, he thought you put the kettle on you want tea you want tea dear dog alright tetlis tea I've seen this on the internet it's called super clean and it's to clean your keyboards um, I was going to use it to clean the air vent on my van but weather's shit, so I'm not cleaning the van. So, he is that, the is that ultimate you... English bloke, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. Such a, a fucking bloke. So much nebulous information. In I would love a pint with him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's the type of bloke I'd sit in and just talk shit. Spend with. the whole night with him. All, Spend the whole evening. Yeah. A beer garden. You want another one? All day. Yeah. Another you, get one. you want another one? Yeah. Rams right, on I'll, me. I'll, I'll get Yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah. That, that's exactly... Okay. Anyone else? No, I'll take the glasses. <laughs> Always take them back bar. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He gets back, he goes, oh, seen the tits on that? Don't tell wife about this, but bloody hell. Seen the barmaid tonight? Yeah, fucking hell, lad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what has he done? Work it in. No, what? There you go. It's all over the numbers. Is it? That is a dirty keyboard. He has got a dirty keyboard. Yeah. Uh, been watching Mia Khalifa. Right. <laughs> now. Oh, wow. I want to see what this looks like when what? he's done. I have got to get myself a blogging camera. Put the... Put it out? Yeah. yeah he's put took it out. That is pretty good though. Yeah, here we go. Before, keys after. No, no, you did it the wrong way around. Keys before. No. <laughs> keys after. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed uh, getting to know this guy, uh, Blue Van Man. If you do like him, head over to his channel, hit subscribe, because he's only got 2,400 subscribers right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll see. Seems like a nice guy. Blue Van Man. Go check um, it out. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. It's, it's, it's getting a bit. Depressing for me to be talking oh. about. I, I think next week, no matter, unless there's some huge revelation, which let's be honest, there probably will be. I hope not. We won't have to mention R. Kelly or Michael Jackson again because it's still my fucking head in. We will have to at some point though. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, thanks for watching though, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe. Let's see what the channel's at. YouTube channel now 1.5 million, 23,000. 968 subscribers at the time of this video. It's it's slowed down since oh. the 1.5. I've got to be honest. But I don't care. I've, we've got plenty. Still going up though. Yes, generally. Yeah. Generally going up, but sort of more about the content these days. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let us know if you have, because a lot of the time it's just people sort of complaining in the comments. And the ones who've enjoyed it tend to just watch it and be like, yeah, I like that. Hit the like button. You don't leave a comment. Leave a comment. Outweigh the arseholes if you can. That would be great. Wow. Thank you. Hashtag outweigh the assholes. See ya. Bye bye.